Hey everyone, before we get into this big video, uh, I gotta let you know we are giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. Uh, to enter, head down to the description or the pinned comment. Uh, also, hey, you know what? I wanted to make this video. I've been sitting on some information for a little bit here because I wanted to wait until Zelda's 35th anniversary. I got my classic A Link to the Past uh, Zelda shirt on here and all that, my kind of messed up, sort of dented uh, Zelda hat here uh, on because it is time to talk about The Legend of Zelda uh, and the 35th anniversary because I have a buddy in the YouTube industry known as Game Over Jesse, excellent YouTuber. He's on his road to 100,000 subscribers. He's over 95,000. If you would like to give him a subscription, if you would like to subscribe to his channel and check it all out, I'll put a link down below absolutely do he's an amazing person he has an inside source that uh has proven to be correct so this source supposedly is um it works with the marketing team and does some writing for nintendo of america and basically told them about when the direct the last nintendo direct was going to happen some of the stuff that was going to happen in that direct and when it was going to be announced at the exact time it was going to be announced and all of it turned out to be right he also said that there's going to be a separate zelda direct which i don't think any of us are really that surprised about because hello uh Mario's 35th had that happen. Zelda's 35th obviously is going to have that happen because they did something similar for the 20th, the 25th, and the 30th. Naturally, they're going to do something like that for the 35th. So just knowing that there's going to be a 35th anniversary direct is already in that of itself pretty big news from his source. But we actually got a bunch of stuff. So first off, let's recap things we've talked about already. The Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD were basically leaked or just confirmed to be coming to Switch uh, through media members who have tossed out on Twitter, like the people that are like, oh man, we're just getting Skyward Sword HD. No, no, no. See you in a couple months. We're going to be having this other stuff as well. So it's possible we might even get all three of these games released in the same month. Who even knows how crazy Nintendo wants to get with it. But it does sound like the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD are coming this year. And that's not really that surprising. Uh, also, we've had that other rumor going on that Switch Pro is a thing that was supposed to come out later this year. It might not come out till next year because Breath of the Wild was supposed to come this year. But Breath of the Wild might be getting delayed to 2022. And that there's some sort of link between Switch Pro and Breath of the Wild where Nintendo wanted to team up the release of the Switch Pro with Breath of the Wild 2. Which would make sense considering that's exactly what they did with the launch of Switch. So it would be kind of some poetic justice to do it again. But... Again, those are obviously not necessarily the same sources we're talking about here with Game Over Jesse, but those are things that are out there. Uh, for sure, the Twilight, the Twilight Princess HD and the Wind Waker HD thing, I think, is just expected at this point. We got Skyward Sword HD. Those games already exist and aren't here yet. It's highly likely they're going to be coming. And yes, probably cost $60 and get the internet to start a flame. What we do know now about Skyward Sword HD, though, thanks to the eShop listing, when you go to pre-order the game, it does note that there is going to be Amiibo functionality. Amiibo functionality did not exist in Skyward Sword back in 2011, so we aren't really sure what those features are going to be. Uh, there's been other things that have happened out here, and again, this isn't from his source. This is just stuff we factually know, uh, and I don't know. It, it could be like an extra dungeon, like in Twilight Princess HD. So there could theoretically be extra content in Skyward Sword HD, even though it might be tied behind Amiibo. We'll see about that. But uh, here is some of the information we learned. First off, uh, for Zelda's 35th, uh, the source uh, leaked that Nintendo Direct. We talked about that. But the source, though, there's another Direct that is upcoming fairly soon, within a month or so, that specifically targets Zelda, a.k.a. a Zelda Direct. Uh, there would be about six to seven different announcements in the Direct. And now, if this source is to be believed, warning from this point moving forward, you're pretty much going to have the Direct spoiled for you, although there'll still be plenty to pay attention to because it doesn't go into exact details on certain things. So... First off, uh, there's going to be a crap load of Zelda merch. You remember all the Mario merch that came out for the 35th? Think that again, except for Zelda. Really, not that big of a surprise. Should be expected at this point, but there's going to be a bunch of Zelda merch. Okay, cool. Uh, there's going to be something going on with Grezzo. The source said, check out Grezzo. And if you dig into what, what's happening at Grezzo, the company who is remastered uh, and even made so many different Zelda games over the last decade, uh, you'll know that they have two currently unannounced games in development. 
And there is actually some belief that both of these games are Zelda related, whether they're new or whether we're talking about bringing Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask into HD. Remember, they did the 3D uh, you know, remakes of those games on, well, they're not really remakes, remasters on 3DS. So tasking them to also bring those games in the HD, well, that may, would make some sense. And they could pa potentially package them together. Uh, and there's your package together anniversary game. We'll see how that works. Uh, game Over Jesse actually puts out in some of his videos that there might be three games coming from Grezzo, but at the end of the day, uh, something from Grezzo, Zelda related, is going to be announced during this thing. Okay, cool. What else do we know? Well, the source knew about Skyward Sword HD um, and talked about it beforehand and uh, told them it was not going to be part of a collection of games. Uh, not, not any, you know, uh, kind of a guess on why Nintendo decided to do that. Basically, Skyward Sword has never been re released. Uh, a lot of other games that you could potentially package together have been re released before. But again, uh, We'll see what happens. Uh, for now, that's just what his source said. Skyward Sword HD was always going to be released on its own. Uh, there's going to be a new details and a trailer for Breath of the Wild 2. Again, if they do a Zelda 35th anniversary direct, I think we expect it. AJ Anoma said they plan to release news later this year. So kind of expected that we're going to hear about Breath of the Wild 2 and see a new trailer. Uh, we're going to get our first real look at the Hyrule, Hyrule Warriors DLC. So they announced Hyrule Warriors DLC in the last Nintendo Direct. They didn't show us any of it. There was no gameplay of the new items or the new stuff. They just kind of did like a splash screen and said, here's, you know, three packs of DLC we're doing or two DLC packs plus a pre-order bonus without actually showing any of it off. So we're going to see that at the Zelda Direct. They're actually going to show off that DLC. Uh, there's going to be, no surprise, Animal Crossing themed Zelda items. There you go. That's not a shocker. They're doing it for Mario. They do it for a lot of franchises with Animal Crossing. So Zelda doing that. They've had Zelda-themed items in the past in, an, in past Animal Crossing games. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, cool. Here's something, though, that I find very interesting. There is going to be a Zelda-themed Nintendo Switch. Now, maybe this isn't surprising when you consider the Mario-themed one. And we don't even know if this theme means it's just going to be like a gold switch, like they've done, you know, gold accents and stuff in the past. For Zelda, even gold systems, I think, I, you know, got Majora's Mask, um, you know, the 3D, new 3DS bat there, the gold one. So we don't know if it's going to be something like that. We don't know if it's just going to be a color swap, if they're going to put decals on it like they did with the Skyward Sword, uh, you know, controllers, uh, Joy-Con. So, I, we again, we don't know what they're going to do. We just know that there's going to be a Zelda theme switch, apparently, according to his source. Also, Breath of the Wild 2 is currently in localization and has been in localization for some time. I take this to mean they started localization at some point last year at Nintendo of America. They'll be completing it soon to get ready for the game to release either this holiday or very early 2022. Uh, so there you go. Obviously, the original plan or the go-to plan for Nintendo right now was or is that Breath of the Wild will be coming out at the end of this year, but the date's not set in stone, so clearly it might not come out till early 2022. But either way, Breath of the Wild's probably here sometime in the next year, and I think that's Breath of the Wild 2 anyways, and I think that's really exciting to think about. Uh, I think overall, uh, I've been following Game Over Jesse for a long time. I know him personally, and he doesn't just put things out there to put them out there. He'll cover other people's leaks and rumors, like the retailer that leaked the other day. But this is like when he puts his name behind something, behind a source that has proven to have accurate information, uh, it's not something to ignore. And I want it to be made clear here that I don't know if any of this is happening. I want there to be a Zelda 35th Direct, and I do think Twilight Princess HD and the Wind Waker HD are coming. But beyond that, I don't know about the rest of this stuff. I think all of it basically sounds like, hey, look, this is what they did for Mario 35. Here's what they're doing for Zelda 35. But there are some differences. Grezzo announcing games. No technical uh, confirmation there's even going to be a collection pack. No talk about any sort of Zelda 35 game or something. Uh, just revealing, what you know, actually showing off that Hyrule Warriors DLC. Actually showing off Breath of the Wild 2. Um, and whatever, like all the announcements, you know, they say six to seven different announcements. Well, we have a majority of them here. We just don't have like Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD, and we don't have exactly what Grezzo's announcing. So there's a, a lot to dissect here. And I feel like when you think about the Zelda 35th anniversary, you have to go, you know, and, and cause I, I know some people that think because Skyward Sword HD was revealed, we're not going to get it. Well, 
let's think about it like this. Mario's 35th anniversary happened last year. And we had a kind of sort of big Mario game get announced outside of the Mario 35th anniversary stuff. Paper Mario. So Paper Mario was announced last summer, released last summer, and then shortly thereafter, we got the Mario 35th Direct. If we think about it, it could be a similar situation here. Now, that would suggest we're not going to hear about the 35th anniversary stuff until after Skyward Sword HD comes out. And that's entirely possible as well that this Zelda Direct that's almost ready to go basically would not happen until, I don't know, August at the earliest, September which would mirror what they did for the Mario 35th anniversary. But it's also possible it could happen next month. My speculation is next month. But again, it's just speculation. I don't have anything really backing it up. Uh, so you guys let me know what you think about all this information because this is crazy good stuff. Uh, shout out to my man Game Over, Jesse. In fact, uh, we will be talking about Zelda's 35th and a whole bunch of Zelda goodness on episode two of the Nintendo Prime podcast, landing this upcoming Thursday on all of your favorite podcast uh, locations and right here on YouTube with a full-on, nicely edited video version. And I'm happy to announce that Game Over Jesse is actually going to be our special guest on that episode. Uh, so be sure to tune in. I can't wait to talk about so much Zelda goodness. I am whew, I'm thrilled, man. All right, folks. I'm Nathaniel Rubblejets from Nintendo Prime. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe for more. I love the Zelda series. So more Zelda news and more Zelda rumors is right up my alley. Catch you guys in the next video.